Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. So in the video today, we're going to have a quick look at um, a real um, introduction to how to test my Logic app when it's connected, uh, when the Logic app's deployed in Azure. So here I've got um, in the Azure portal, I've got my Logic app, this MSLA test and dev. I've got some workflows in it, <clears throat> which are all the ones that you would see in my VS Code solution. And we're going to have a look just at the really basic echo um, logic app here so we can have a look um, how to do the most basic test scenario so if we have a look in the designer and you'll see we've got just um, a message coming in over HTTP we parse it we compose a response message and return that response and we can see that there'll, there'll be a run history here that we'll be able to see now what uh, what I've got over in VS code here we've, we've got the same logic app in the designer here so you know just show that that's there but i've already deployed it to azure i now want to be able to run a test so we've got the in the project here we've got the two test projects so the unit test project down here is to demonstrate how to run it locally inside funk.exe on your machine the acceptance test projects the one where it's working against um the logic app being deployed out to Azure. So the, these tests all run it in, in the cloud. So in the tests here, we're gonna go into the features folder and I've got this, this test project here. So I'm gonna run these tests as well. So I'm just gonna change my folder path here um, down into the acceptance tests and then I'm just gonna clear that console. So we have a look through what the test does here. So we've got this um, test class test method, and this one here, in, in future videos, we'll look at some spec flow examples. This one's just vanilla MS test C sharp using the, um, using the Logic App Test Manager. So what we're gonna do is um, I've got my, my name for my workflow here, and then I'm gonna create a JSON message here that, um, that I'm going to send to the Logic app. So I'm just going to create a basic dictionary object, add some properties to it, convert it to JSON. I'm then going to um, use my um, my test manager builder. So we're having a um, creation of the Logic app test manager here. Um, so we've got this helper builder object where you can just pass in the workflow name and what that'll do behind the scenes is um, in that class it's going to look up from your app settings.json so there's there's some settings that are in there I'll obviously not show them in the video because that'll have my sensitive settings in but um, but in the documentation you can read how you can either just put some pre-configured settings in that'll automatically pick up with this build method and there's a couple of overloads where you can supply um, to supply those parameters to build it if you want to sort of manage those settings in a different way. Um, so you've got a bit of flexibility here. But the key thing is that you're, you're building it and you're giving it the name of the workflow. <clears throat> and then that test manager will be able to connect to Azure and it'll be able to interact with the Logic app from this point. So next up, we've got the, um, the sending of a request here. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to create an HTTP content we're using the, the message that we created earlier on, so this JSON message, and then we use the the test manager. We just trigger the logic app with a post. And you can trigger it with a, a get, and there's a couple of other options. Um, the So once we get that um, response back, we can then check that we got a workflow ID here, so that, that'll let us know the logic app got it, um, and that it started running, and we can just assert that we've got a run ID. At this point, um, we can use the load workflow run history. So that'll basically call the management API and it'll load the run history um, from the Logic app and then we'll be able to check what happened. Now, when you do the, the later on options for, um, you know, if imagine you've got a long running workflow, so you might want to um, call that load workflow run history if you want to refresh it at any point. And some of these act um, actions they'll support being able to refresh the workflow run history so the likelihood is for this simple logic app the workflow will have finished when I get this successful response here but if you had a workflow where it responds straight away and then does a long run action after that you've got a um, you've got a bit longer stuff to do so that'll um, 
that will let you um, refresh it when you need to. But we, once we get the run history, the next thing is we're going to check the trigger status here. So I'm just going to check the trigger succeeded. And then what I can do is in the, in the logic app, so if you see here, we've got all these shapes. In my test, I could just test that the response was successful. And I can just re reuse this line to test all of the different actions that they were successful that I want to check. So you might only check some of them. You might check all of them depending on what your test needs. Um, and then I would um, check the overall run status here to check the logic app was successful. I can check the HTTP response code it returned. And I can also check the, the JSON message that was the response. So I can do quite a lot of stuff here. Now, what you might do is you might have, say we had a, an if statement in here that went down two different, different branches. We might have two different tests, one that sends a message that makes it go each way. And we can do two tests that will cover both workflow branches. Um, and, that, and that's just really as you build out your library of tests there. But hopefully that shows how easy it is. The few lines of code to start testing your logic app when it's deployed in Azure.